In this video, we're gonna do a quick facial calibration using the new Character Creator 4 Extended Facial Profile on one of my older CC3 characters. This will allow us to see how much more realistic this new profile makes our characters look. Then, we'll jump into Reillusion's Digital Souls Pack to fully utilize this new extended profile. When I saw the trailer for CC4, I immediately wanted to jump in and see just how good this new extended facial profile was going to be. Obviously, we can expect that Reillusion was going to showcase this new feature with their best models, but I wanted to see how good it would work on one of my own characters that I had previously made. So I chose Ashley, one of my digital actors that I've used in several of my previous videos. To start, I wanted to see a baseline, so I used the facial calibration animation in CC4 on Reillusion's character avatar, Camilla, who you've probably seen in the trailers. Immediately, I was blown away at the details in the eyes and the slight variations in the face. These subtleties really bring the character to life. I then created a new scene and imported Ashley. And as an additional baseline, I wanted to use her original facial profile, which I believe is now being called traditional. This would allow me to see how much this traditional profile varies from the extended profile. Now, one of the amazing things about using this calibration tool in Character Creator 4 is that it allows you to see where your characters may need to adjust their profile to account for what I call facial anomalies. For instance, you can see on Ashley, her eyes don't close all the way. Now, in the past, I've just worked around this, but now I can actually update the facial profile using the Facial Profile Editor. So, after converting Ashley to utilize the new CC4 Extended Profile, I opened up the editor and looked for the eye blink sliders. Then, using the available expression tools, I was able to modify the blend shapes to adjust for this anomaly. These changes can then be saved and my character will have no issues when blinking her eyes. With the changes made to the profile, I again ran the calibration test, and you can see the results. Personally, I feel the differences can be subtle, but they are big improvements. The human face is just so difficult to animate because it's all those small subtleties which we see on a daily basis and take for granted, but when they aren't in the animations, something looks wrong. And that's why I like this extended profile, because these improved and expanded blend shapes really aim to capture those subtleties and thus add realism to the character. My only note would be that the neck now has blend shapes as well. So you will need to be cautious about how the neck interacts with clothing items like turtlenecks. And since these initial tests did show such great improvements, let's take it to the next level with the Digital Souls Pack, which has been developed to really unleash this new extended profile. Now, to be upfront, Reillusion did provide this to me for review, but these are my thoughts and opinions on the pack and have not been shaped or formed in any way. Digital Soul is an animation pack focused on character expressions. Usable in both iClone 8 and Character Creator 4, it comes with over 140 subtle animations in 9 categories. There's Watch, Think, Read, Feel Like, Feel Dislike, Talk, Listen, Eye Movement, and the Extended Facial Profile. What I love about all of these are the subtle eye movements and the expressions that bring your character to life. I think it's one of those packs that brings so many options to the table because it has so many applications. For me, I use animations to tell visual stories. These characters are my digital actors. Therefore, I can see these expressions being perfect for reaction shots in my videos, or with these nice eye movements, they can easily be used as a base for lip sync animation. Then you can build it up with the face key or face puppet tool to dial it in and really make a unique performance. You think they're down there? With our luck, probably. It'll take more than a couple of folks to stop us. Then let's get to work. I can see this also saving you a lot of time with background characters. Instead of hand animating every background character, which, let's be honest, isn't really your focus. Just add a few of these animations in a string, and your background characters are now telling a little story of their own. In the end, this pack really does take advantage of the new facial profile, and I see it being such a useful and versatile tool to have in your animation pipeline. If you want to learn a little bit more about Character Creator 4 and iClone 8, I've done separate videos which you can find in the description below or find out a little bit more about Digital Soul on Reillusion's YouTube channel. 
And that's going to do it for us here. We'll see you on the next LibreTask video.